What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we got a good one for you. That's right. We're going to be going and diving into a really cool deck. That's right. We're going to be looking at the My Turn Hotel and Casino deck by the man himself, Michael Stern. So, without further ado, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. And let's go. The My Turn playing cards by Michael Stern were released and announced at this past year's 2019 Cardistry Con. If you're not familiar with Michael Stern or the My Turn brand, well, you better get familiarized because he's done a lot of work within the Cardistry community. A lot of it is notable with the Fontaine playing cards brand as well as his own. This is not the first release by Michael. This is the third with his before releases, the very successful My Turn Mixtape Volume 1 and 2 playing card decks, as well as this one. The tuck box is going to be all black. It's going to be on a standardized tuck box. It's going to say My Turn Hotel and Casino at the top. Down below, it's going to say Crush Stock my turn with the four pips. The left side of the tuck box is going to say 52 playing cards and jokers, linen finish, crushed stock. While the right side has some ad copy distributed by My Turn, Los Angeles, California. The bottom of the tuck box is going to look just like we saw on the bottom part of the tuck on the front where it says My Turn and the pips. The back design of the tuck is the back design on the cards, which we'll get into shortly. There's no tuck seal. And on the inner flap, it's gonna say your turn. This deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their crushed classic stock. That's right, it does have a traditional cut and a air cushion emboss. And this was a limited print run of only 2,500 decks. The back design on the deck itself is going to be very minimal and elegant at the same time with that charcoal-ish black color poking out with that kind of invisible casino style back that repeats itself. Along the edge line is going to be those minimal medium white poker borders. End to end, you're going to see those larger placards with the words My Turn Hotel and Casino that make this a mirrored image in a two-way design. All right, with this deck, you're going to receive some extra cards. The first one is this really cool kind of uh, hotel-esque type of card. If you stayed at a hotel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of times when you check in, you'll get a free breakfast kind of coupon for the next morning or whatever the case. And this is that card. That's right. Even though this is not real, it's really cool and kind of adds that extra reality to the you know the deck itself it's going to say present this coupon at the fabulous my turn hotel and casino and receive one free breakfast buffet really cool card there the next card is also really cool and interesting and you'll see this in a lot of different decks especially b decks as well this is your poker hand rankings card this is going to kind of break down the different hands and stuff in cards you know four of a kind two of a kind royal flush what it means what the higher is of those and so on the last two cards you're going to receive are going to be your jokers that's right Upon closer inspection, these are not duplicates, but they are very original. That's right. It's going to be kind of like this, uh, like a mask, like a gestures type mask on a stick, almost like one of those ones you put up to your face and it's, you know, at a masquerade of sorts almost. And it's going to say nothing on one of them. And the other is going to say Joker on top and bottom. The pips and indices in this deck are your industry standard, making this deck really good for magic. The court cards in this deck are the exact same way, 100% standard and traditional USPC courts. The aces are also your standard, at least until you get to the ace. The enlarged, I mean, super 
and large spade pip there in the center with the same placard we saw on the back design there in the center. It's gonna have a serial number there underneath to kind of pay homage to the casino style decks as well as older decks from yesteryear. It's gonna say made in the USA underneath. That's all I can say about this deck. Join me now for my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on this deck. Four out of five. I give it a four out of five. It's a good deck. It's a really good deck, actually. You know, it's kind of nice to see Michael Stern really kind of not, it's not that he left the cardistry community with this deck because this deck is fully capable of some great flourishes, fans, the whole nine, right? But it was cool to see his mind kind of think outside of the cardistry world and bring his genius to the magic community because this deck is amazing. I mean, this deck you can use for close up, this deck you can use for cardistry, this deck you can use for table work. You know, it, it just, it has everything. And that's the best part about it. When a deck can touch on everything, that's that's a winner right there. Um, it's just a great deck. Like I said, it has the standard faces and whatnot for the, the, the magic guys. And you know, it has that kind of minimal yet kind of loud back design at the same time uh to where like i said you can do those packet cuts and whatever and it's kind of like ooh, i like that deck um so it's a good project overall um you know he sold out of them almost right away i mean literally within i believe it was like a week or two they sold out he restocked i don't know if it was like personals he kind of was selling um i'm not sure if the deck offhand like i said is back on his site or not i'll link everything down below where you guys can go ahead and check these out just in case there are some available and i do highly recommend you get these hand your hands on these right away because it's a very good deck i mean it wasn't talked about in the sense of it didn't make too much noise but it made noise in the right way to where he was able to have a successful launch and at the end of the day that's all that matters because michael's a great guy we've had conversations on the phone and he's a really good dude so that's it so hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did you know what to do smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you beautiful people on the next one